Hey, what is up, everybody? This is John from Magic Tech Review. How are you guys doing tonight? And in tonight's video, I want to talk to you about something that Cricket Wireless is already starting at the, uh, well, not the end of the year, but the beginning of the year. So here we go, Cricket Wireless. Why, why, why? Why are you doing this stuff to yourself? It seems like Cricket Wireless has been shooting themselves in the foot. Uh, when they started with the whole customer service fees and the you know, late fees and all this other stuff, because Cricket Wireless used to be, their slogan was everything is included. Uh, they never used to charge any type of really service fees. Or re I mean, they probably always had reactivation fees, I'm, I'm assuming, but they never had like a fee to like pay your bill or anything like that. Uh, so we're going to be talking about some increases that are coming down the line. Uh, first off, though, I do want to just kind of talk to everybody and, you know, say hi to everybody or whatever. I don't want to spill the beans like right away in the beginning, uh, but I will get to that. And then also, uh, you know, we have CV Tech here. What's up, my friend? What's going on? How's it going tonight? Man, I, ha I had to come on here. As soon as, as soon as I seen this info, I was like, oh, Lord, here we go. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> had to come up here. Um, but in your opinion, no doubt, man, no doubt. In your opinion, you know, these different carriers and all, all that, you know, have you seen or have you noticed the change where the customer service fees and all this other stuff from the past to the present? Do you see it like, is, you know, what do you, what is your kind of take on it? Yeah. You know, I remember used to, um, when you went to like a metro, a metro store and you would go and um, point in a number, usually you just go in and, you know, if the phone was free, you might pay. You might pay a tax. You might pay this or that. But you walked out the door. But now it's like they want to charge you so many fees and activation fees and this fee and that fee and then your left arm and left leg. And so, yeah, I can see you know that they're taking on you know extra fees. But I, I haven't been to a cricket store or a metro store in a long time. Uh, I, I would say the last time that I went into an actual retail store was probably back when I got my iPhone 6S back in December of last year. So I haven't been in any retail store since then. So I'm not really, I'm not really sure of it. I just go by what I hear about fees, like in Metro stores and stuff like that, or what I hear online, but I've not been into one in one in so long. Yeah. And I mean, it's a wonder, you know, that it's like they're trying to drive people away from their stores. It's like, they don't even want your business anymore. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Cause like, I remember when I used to work at cricket, when I first started, there was no fees. You just come pay your bill and everybody was happy and they had the little child play center and, you know, your kid would play there while you're paying the bill and you'd look around and all that other stuff. You know, now it's just like fees on top of, man, they want to charge you for no spam calls. They want to charge you like that should just be already included, you know, like, come on, man. Um, now, they didn't, wanna... now, didn't make... go ahead. Sorry. I mean, interrupt. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So, that you know they want to charge you for that then they want to charge you for uh, changing your number of course or whatever but most of the time you know they probably gave your number to somebody or gave your number to a company that's why you're getting all these spam calls you know they used to do that service those services for free or am i am i crazy well i know that like if you want to change your phone number on boost mobile uh you can i, I had a uh, boost mobile line I was on the three dollar a day plan, had the money on it. I only had that line if I wanted to pour it out to the carrier for a for a free phone or for a good deal. Mm. And I still got that. I still I still have that line. I was three dollars a day, um, but it's zero balance. If, so if I want to go to like Metro and get a new phone, so, so they had like like the A twenty for free, and mm. I wanted the A twenty, I could go in there, put three dollars on my Boost Mobile line, go into Metro do a port out i'm good to go but i do know the boost mobile if you have to change your number they will change your number with no cost now i'm not sure if it's just one number uh change or if they do it unlimited i don't i doubt they do it unlimited times but yeah. i know they do it at least one time for free because i that changed my number once and it was free i went in there said change number i changed it it said it said here's your new number and that was it that was nothing else now now, Cricket, hasn't Cricket always charged a payment fee in store? No, no. They, they started they that while I was working there. No, it used to be that all everything was included, taxes and fees. That's what like was written on the thing. 
that was their like slogan for the longest time. You know, one flat rate for the family or whatever. Uh, let me say hi to everybody real quick, and then uh, we'll kind of start to get into what these fees are or whatever. Uh, what's up, Kevin yeah. Rivera, TechWiz? Oh my golly, wow! Prince M, Voltron Gamer, Chris Stevenson, Matt's Tech, Lana Marie. Uh, dang, we got Storm Chaser, L. Uh, L. Sibert, <laughs> Mario Ortega. Oh my God, dude! There's so many people. Andy Logan, Shay Kennedy, Clay Mayton, Milton. Yeah. Uh, Tech Rants. Hey, Tech Rants. I haven't seen Tech Rants in a while either. So what's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Uh, and then Jonathan Miguel just and Rod Tucker. Whoa. Man, it, man everybody oh, came man. up here fast, too. It jumped. <laughs> I seen it jump. It was like, I seen it jump. Like, as soon as I looked, it was like 29. I was like, oh, now it's like 37. Sweet, sweet. So everybody, don't yeah. forget to leave a like. Uh, if you're part of the replay crew, you know, say hashtag re replay crew if you're watching this afterwards, after the stream, whatever. Leave a comment, talk, converse, have fun in the chat. Yeah. Go yeah, ahead. like Tech Rant said, like Tech Rant said, Boost Mobile if customer service helps change your number fifteen dollars. So they, they charge you a fee, but if you got access to online, you can change it every twenty four hours if you wish. So that's kind of mm. crazy. They, they don't they, they don't charge you any fees. Um, I would say probably Boost Mobile is one of the prepaid carriers and does not charge you for every single thing still. But like I said, I haven't been to a Boost Mobile store in a long time. Um, yeah. But I do know that a lot of things is free on Boost Mobile. And I know when you go port your, port your number out to Boost Mobile, which I think the last phone I bought on Boost Mobile was a port in. Uh, I can't even remember what it was now. But, um, yeah, I was in there and out of there. There's a port over. I paid for the, I paid for the plan. I paid mm -hmm. the taxes on the plan, and I was out the door. Uh, but I do know that Metro, they are wanting to nickel and dime you to death now, or some of them do. Now, there are, now some Metros are still, you know, but some Metros want to charge, say, like, if you got an iPhone 6S, mm -hmm. some stores I went in, you got, got the phone for free and a port in, you paid your first month's payment, and that was it. In yeah. at the door. Now, and then some stores wanted to charge you tax on the retail price of that free phone. Which they said was five hundred and some dollars, which was which was ridiculous. So you ended up paying; it wasn't free. So some metro stores done that. Some metro stores didn't do that. So, um, but Cricket, I, I haven't been to a Cricket store in a long time, so I didn't know nothing about Cricket and their and their fees or upcoming uh, fees. Uh, Kyoto Hermosa, what's up? <laughs> Nice, uh, nice profile picture there. Um, so let's see, Terrell, what's up? The individual, what's up? Yeah, man, we got like 50 peeps up in here. Hey, that's what's up. Hey, yeah. please don't forget to subscribe to CV Tech and watch him. His content is way better than mine. I'm just, you know, little little live streamer guy here. I want to put a little comment here just saying hello. My name is down there in blue. You can push my little circle and subscribe to my channel if you so wish. I would really appreciate it. All right. All right, guys. Well, let's get to let's get down to brass tacks, I guess. So um, one of the fees that are changing now, remember, I told you guys that um, I told you guys that Cricket Wireless never used to charge a fee, right? Never used to charge a fee to pay your bill in store. OK, so then it's three dollars. All right. Now, starting starting um, January 31st, this a little birdie told me I found it on the Internet somewhere. OK, um, but when I when I when I speak, I speak the truth. This is not this is not a no no bogus stuff. But um, from my sources. Um, so just just for context. Oh. And thank you, Luke Tech Gaming, for the two dollar donation. Thank you so much. Uh, if you you know if you put a donation up there, I will uh, highlight you up there on the uh, on the screen as you can see right there. But Metro charges you three dollars. All right, Boost charges you three dollars. Right, Cricket charges you three dollars, but they're going to be charging you four dollars now. So they're actually going to be higher than Metro and Boost Mobile. Like yeah, and when you look and when you look at it, a dollar don't sound like much. 
you look at every customer that has cricket that goes into it, that goes and pays their bills. You know, mm -hmm. that's, that adds up. That adds up a lot. Yeah, and then some people they just like they'll come in. They might not have the whole amount, so they'll pay like twenty dollars here, fifty dollars there. Each time you pay a bill, doesn't matter if you pay it in full, you pay half of it, you pay some of it, you pay your girlfriends, you pay yours, you pay whatever. It's gonna be four bucks. That's gonna add up, man. Why? Why? Why would I want to go inside a Cricket Wireless store and pay my bill? Why? Like, why would I even? And I, the people that I truly feel sorry for or that I feel bad for are the employees that work there. And I guess, I guess you could say, and the franchise franchise owners, because a lot of people, mm -hmm. they tend to think when they go into Cricket Wireless, it's actually Cricket Wireless, you know, the company. It's not the company. It's, yeah. it, it's just, you know, like it could be like me and you, you know, we, we decide to put some money up together and buy Cricket Wireless. You know, we got the branding and all that stuff, but we're just... At the end of the day, we're just regular people. We're not a big corporation. So exactly. now, now these people have to charge every customer that comes in that $4, you know? And if they don't charge that $4, they're going to get in trouble. They can't be like, well, I'm going to let you slide. No, nah, you know what I'm saying? And then what if, what if, you know, God forbid, you know, you, you rely on your phone for, you know, medication purposes, doctor's appointments, lawyers, whatever the case may be. You got your fifty dollars in hand, but they're charging to the four dollars. So now you can't even pay your bill, and you're gonna be late, right? So mm -hmm. now Cricket Wireless used to have, they used to have a policy where they give you twenty four hours of a grace period. All right, guess what? Yeah. That grace Gone, period right. is going away. Now that's that's a real kick in the pants and a slap in the face right there. They can't even give you 24 hours before they cut your phone off. Now it's just going to be bam. And then you're going to have to pay a reactivation fee. It used to be, you know, oh, it got cut off at midnight. Oh, snap. I, 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 you know, some, I mean, come on, man. Sometimes, you know, you don't know that the phone's about to get cut off. You got other things going on or whatever. You're like, oh, okay. You know, and then you just wake up in the morning. Oh, welcome to cricket, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I got I to pay my phone bill. All right. And you just walk in and you pay a bill. Right. You, you hand mm -hmm. over. Your, so now they're forcing you basically to go in the store. You're going to be paying your fifty dollars or your six sixty dollars. Right. Sixty dollars for unlimited. So you're going to be paying your six dollars plus your four dollar fee and your reactivation fee. So, so I mean, so, I mean, honestly, to honestly, to avoid everything, uh, if you can do it, it's just sign up for auto pay. Like, um, yeah, for, like Frank Miranda said uh, you know, I think the Frank Miranda said something about, you know, uh, forcing everybody to go um, auto pay. Auto pay would be the better way to go if you could mm -hmm. do it. Everybody can do, everybody can do auto pay, you know? Yeah, everybody can't do auto pay. Maybe, you know, you're struggling. You don't have a, you don't have a car that has $60. And now, now this is the crazy, this is the crazy part, okay? So most people, they have more than one line, you know, they have, you know, you and your, your wife, your girlfriend, this father, whatever, blah, 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 right? So single line activation is $5, right? Reactivation fee is $5, okay? All right, no sweat, $5, right? So now you're paying $4, paying $5 for the reactivation fee. That's $9 on top of the 60 you pay them, right? Let's say you got that um, $100 one, right? The, what was it, four four hundred? So, you know, the, it's, it's a great deal, great deal, okay? So now... They're going to be raising it. It used to be $10 if you had more than one line. All right. So mm -hmm. <laughs> this is, this is, this is, man, I'm telling you, man, cricket, man, cricket, man, some bullshit, man. Y'all are some bullshit now. And I see right through it, man. I see right through it. We all see right through it. And um, so cricket used to be $10 to reactivate your phone if you had two or more lines or whatever. I mean, what's the big deal? What's the, what's the difference? Why? Why are you charging more because I have more lines? Why can't you just charge me five, right? No, they're going to charge exactly. you 10. Are right, they going to charge you 10, right? No. Now they're going to be increasing that too. So you're going to be paying $15, all right? So now you're going to be paying $15 for or And if you don't pay them $15, none of them phones are going to be getting activated. So now you got, wow. now you, got you, your wife, 
your grandma, sick grandma, your kid at school. Nobody's got their phone now. You know what I'm saying? So now you got to run into the store. $4 fee, right? $4 late fee. I mean, $4 customer service. What do, what do they call it? What do they, what do they call it now? Uh, I got some fancy name, I'm sure. Customer assistance. That's what they call it, customer assistance. So, so, and thank you for the 60 people that are watching. Please leave a like on the video. Please share this out. This is awesome. I really, really appreciate y'all. And I'm probably going to make an abridged version uh, later on tomorrow. So, you know what I'm saying? In case y'all didn't get it, everything or whatever. I, I still got some more stuff to talk about. This is not everything. Um, but so, so now I would say goodbye to Creek. So, okay. So now you wake up phone, not working, right? You can't just reactivate it. You got, you got a, you got a hundred dollars, right? You four, 400. So you're like, Oh, okay. hundred dollars. You take a hundred dollar bill, slam it on the table. Here you go. No, that's not enough. $4 fee. All right. Now $15 <laughs> to reactivate all the lines. All right. So now that's $119. They charge you $19, bro, to come and pay your bill. Why why would yeah, you treat I, why would you treat customers like that? Where in the heck? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, bro. I'm I'm just like I'm I'm like right now. My head is just exploding right now. But go ahead, go ahead. And I want to I want to see from the chat right. too. No, I'm bro, I'm like my mind is just blown <laughs> right now. Like I'm like I, like my skin is like boiling right now because of it yeah you know i mean it's it's like i can see that with the postpaid you know with all these with all the other stuff that you know the postpaid does but prepaid you know just like uh let's see i'm trying to see like Lindsay edwards says uh, that's why i like straight talk because of no fees and stuff I, that exactly total wireless you know, i've been late a time or two and it's like you know yeah your phone won't work but you just pay your bill and boom it's back on there's no fees no reactivation fees no, nothing. You, you know, mm -hmm. if it gets cut off, you just get on there, pay your bill, and boom, no fees. Right. Total wireless, straight talk. I mean, there's no fees at all. Um, and also, cricket. This stuff is always annoying me with cricket. And if you go in there with a phone that you bought, you say like you bought like an LG G8. Okay, unlocked. You want to put it on cricket. You can't. You know, and you go into a store now. Now you can always just take your SIM card out of your cricket phone and put it into that phone. But see, if you take it into the store. They're going to sit there and say, well, you need to get a new SIM card and pay $25 for a new SIM card to put in your G8 whenever all you got to do is put your old Cricket SIM card. Or if you're switching to Cricket, you know, they're going to charge you $25 for an upgrade, for a new line, for anything they do. They, they do. And you can buy a Cricket SIM card gift for $10 somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Do it yourself. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think that's kind of one of those things that's also – uh, a little, a little above and beyond, you know, um, what they should be charging is to twenty five dollars just for a SIM card kit. Because um, most there's there's people that don't know that if you got Cricket already, you get a new phone, it's a GSM phone, take your SIM card out of your old phone, put it in your new phone, and you're good to go. Some will go into a Cricket store and say, hey, you know, I got this phone right here, I'm on Cricket now. Instead of an employee saying, okay, we'll just take your SIM card out of your old phone, put it in your new phone. They'll get a SIM card kit out. They'll activate a new SIM card, put it in their phone, charge twenty five dollars, and send you on the way. And you know, and yep. it, it, I mean, I, I know it's business, but to me, that's just uh, I don't agree with that. You know, that's why I'm like, if you got Cricket already and you buy a new GSM phone, just change your SIM card out. I mean, now of course, if you got an older phone with micro SIM and your new phone is nano SIM. You got to get a SIM card kit, you know, of course, you know, but yeah. for the most part, for the most part, I mean, just, just change your SIM card out, you know, uh, and okay. don't have to worry about, you know, and also like with Total Wireless and Straight Talk, most mm -hmm. of the time you can get those SIM card kits for like 99 cents and like Walmart, well, Target, places like that. I see, I see people commenting about the app and all that stuff, the app, the app, you know, what if you don't have a Cricket phone? What if you, what if you're using a phone that's not Cricket? What if you haven't set up the app yet? You know what I'm saying? That means you got to log in, do all this other stuff. And meanwhile, your phone is off. You're missing calls and all this other stuff, right? Now, the that's all fine and dandy, right? But if you miss your payment, you're paying $15, man. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. You're 
off jump. That's it. You 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 miss you miss your you miss your payment and you got more than one line on your phone. You got two lines. You and your girl. You're paying fifteen dollars, man. That's and that 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 don't even matter. Your phone could it could be midnight. It could be midnight oh one one minute after midnight. Cut your phone off. Fifteen dollars. You're paying. And like you say, going if you go to if you go to a store and pay it. That's going to cost you four dollars. What was it? Four dollars for the bill pay. So yep, four dollars for the bill pay. Yes, fifteen yeah. on top of the bill pay. So so let's say okay, let's say your phone bill is a hundred dollars, right? You go online somehow. Somehow you have Wi-Fi at the house or whatever. Because a lot of people they use their phone as their internet resource, right? You know, or they use Wi-Fi hotspot and all this other stuff, right? So here you go. You go online somehow and you pay a hundred dollars, right? The phone doesn't cut on. Why? Because you have to pay the reactivation fee. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, uh, <laughs> can you I, imagine the frustration, now, dude, of laying down $100 of your hard-earned money and your phone's still not cut on because you didn't pay now, the reactivation fee? Now, 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 taking away the re- re- reactivation fee, you know, it only in-store charges you a payment fee, right? I mean, if you, you can pay it online, do I, do I, I just go forward asking, what about if you use a refill cricket card? If you, if, right. if you get on, if you go on there and add a yeah. refill cricket card, it's free. Don't charge you anything. It's whenever you go into the store. But at the, at the stores, they, they do charge you at the uh, um, Target. It, it's not cricket refill cards, not just 60. It's like 60, 250. Really? Yeah, it's like 250. Oh. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I I remember charging people about sixty two fifty. It's like two fifty for the oh. refill card. So Wow. <clears throat> I would say, you know, like, like I was saying, you know, I've you know, I've been with uh, Straight Talk, Total Wireless Thing Company, and I know that whenever you, if you don't I, I got three lines of service. And yeah. if you go if if you go over your day, you don't you I mean they cut your service off. But there's no fees. Like I said, like I said earlier, there's no fees. You, you just pay your bill, what your bill normally is, and it's reactivated. There's no fees to reactivate. There's no late fees. There's no nothing. It's just your straight up bill. You're done. Yeah, I think That's I think it should the, be. the the dollar the, the I can get over the dollar. You know, it's three dollars. It's four dollars. Whatever they want to be. You know, they want to be stupid about it. All right, here, take your take your fucking dollar. I throw I throw that shit in their face. Here's your stupid dollar. You know what I'm saying? You want an extra dollar? What do you want to beg for some change across the counter? All right, take your damn dollar. But mm-hmm. the fifteen dollars for just being late, you know what I'm saying? I mean, come on, man. Yeah, not even that, not, that's not ridiculous. No grace fee, no nothing. No, that's it. Like nothing. Five minutes. It doesn't matter if it's if it was cut off five minutes ago. Now, do you reckon that's cricket or you're gonna have AT&T? Um Cause you know how AT and T is very money hungry, and how much they rip their customers off being an actual AT and T customer. I wonder if it's trickling down to Cricket. AT and T's making them charge, charge these fees, or if it's just something that Cricket's doing because they can. Cause to charge that much for reactivation fee is ridiculous. Whenever other prepaid carriers don't charge anything, you know, right? For, re- for, re- for reactivation fees. Now I know. Um, I know, I, I know that Boost Mobile. Like, if you have a Boost Mobile phone and it's been activated, and you sell that phone, and, and you sell the phone to somebody else, and they want to activate it on a new line, they got to pay ten dollars because it's been active before. But if they do a uh, ESN change, if they got a, they, they got Boost Mobile already. And you sell them a, a used Boost Mobile phone, you do an ESN change, it's free. But if it's a new yeah. line, they charge ten dollars for a used Boost Mobile phone. So they do got fees on that, but you know, fifteen dollars just to reactivate. I mean, for prepaid reactivate. I mean, just to push a button. You know, to push a button to reactivate fifteen dollars. I mean, you're gonna you get rich on that. Mm-hmm. And there's no way to get around that. There's no. As soon as you hit, re, as soon as you reactivate, it's gonna it's gonna add that fifteen dollars into the uh, total. So, you know, that's. Oh, yeah. Um, Sean White. John White says, Total Wallace is calling my name. Hey, I, I'm going to tell you, they're on Verizon. They got a great family plan right now. Four lines. I think for, I'm not sure. 
but you get a hundred gigs shared, and you get ten gig, ten gig, ten gigs of hotspot per line, um, and as, you know customer service is awful, but they're Verizon and they got. And I've been with them for over a year, and if anybody mm-hmm. asks me what prepaid company would you recommend, even though yes, you don't get the phone deals that you get at a metro store port overs or cricket don't have very good poured in deals unless it's like certain times of the year. You, you but, know what's you know what's funny? You know what's funny? Right now, not in store, online till till January 9th, you can get either a Motorola G7 Supra or an LG Stylo 5 for free online. Not in the store though. Yeah, online. Yeah, online. <laughs> Isn't that some bullshit, man? That's some BS. <laughs> like how how do you sell against that? How do you sell against that? Like yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean, they're, uh, Jose, uh, Jose Sintenso, Visible is really good. Yeah, Visible is 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 not bad. I've had Visible for, for a couple of weeks now. They're a cloud-based service, though. And if there's issues, you gotta you got to deal with having to wait for customer service to contact. And this is just kind of aggravating. But, of course, if you have their problems, you're, you're golden. Um, uh, Jessica asked, is Family Mobile any good? Family Mobile is the same family track phone that they use T-Mobile. So if team up don't work good in your area, I still clear. Um, but Verizon, you know, works about about everywhere. You know, right. um, I've used all four carriers, and I would say for me in my area, Sprint and Verizon works the best uh, as far as holding on to a phone call. Um, AT and T don't do as good as they used to. T Mobile, uh, like I may mention earlier, T Mobile, or I mentioned the other sometime. Five, they're worried about 5G, but they can get their LTE right in most places. Mm. And they can't even get service in places that should have full service by now. So um, T-Mobile, I don't know about the whatever. But, um, you know, being Verizon, Total Raw to Straight Talk, like I, I think I mentioned it on the last live stream, if you want a good unlimited plan for a single line or for two lines, two lines for 90 unlimited on Straight Talk, if you want three or four lines for family, Total Wireless, same co- same company, pretty much. It's just more family oriented, you know, for, for better family plans. Um, but they both use Verizon, and um, you can bring any Verizon supported unlocked phone, you know, to Total Wireless as well. Um, so yeah, yeah. Um, so I want to I want to take a poll in the chat right now. Um, so LG Stylo 5 or Motorola G7 Supra, which one would That's everybody? A no- <laughs> well, That's a no-brainer for me. <laughs> hold, hold on, hold on. Let them let let them decide. Let everybody. I want everybody to decide. I want everybody in the chat right now to tell us which phone would you get for free from Cricket Online or whatever if you had to choose one, LG Stylo 5 or G7 Supra. So an art dog, yeah, it doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound good. So that's just the that's just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, <laughs> oh, there's oh, there's more. Oh uh, no 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 no, not at the moment, not at the moment. No. So everybody's pretty much staying the Supra, uh, except for one staying the Stylo Five. Yeah, Lindsay Edwards, Jessica, Supra has down. Yeah, Supra. Miss Hermosa says she run, has the Stylo 5. The Supra would run circles around the Stylo 5. Um, the, the Moto, any Moto G7 runs the 632 processor, which is a lot better than the Stylos with a 450 processor, which is really outdated. Um mm. Even with the same RAM and ROM, the 632 processor and the Moto G7s, even you know, the Power, the regular G7, or even the Play has the same processor, and they just they stomp the, the Stylo Five. I've used them. What's, what's what's wrong with the Stylo Five? What's I, I've never I've never used it. What's I mean not wrong with it. What's what's there's not the only the my only issue with Stylo Five. They really didn't improve it over Stylo Four from last year. They're using the same processor as last year, the same four fifty. No, the same four. 
using the same 450 processor they used last year. There's no improvements as far as processors go. Yeah. The same. The same so why even thing. come out with another phone? They they gave you the latest version of Android on the Solo Five. It's about all they've done, and they and actually the Solo Five with all carriers this time they're all the same. So you you get the same processor, the same RAM, the same ROM. Uh, just, they come in different colors with different carriers. Um, but you know on Solo Four, some carriers had less RAM, some have more RAM, some have less storage, some have more storage. But the Stylo 5, they're all equal uh, across all carriers. But they still have the same old processor as last year. And, yes, I still have better SIM. Um, and better SIM, 39 bucks a month, unlimited everything. I've had them for over a year and no problems with better SIM. Glad mm. I got them before they quit selling. Dude, I, I'd, ha- I'd have a hard, hard time charging people that $15, man. Hard and they time. charge two. And when it released, it's two hundred dollars for Solo Five, two hundred dollars for Solo Five, and you can get the G7 Supra, the G7 Optima Max on Straight Talk for like a hundred and fifty, and it would crush. It would crush the battery life. It would crush the processing power. Um, the cameras are better, so uh, in my opinion, the cameras are better. So block yeah, Solo Four. Yep, like Art Dog uh, and Andy Logan, Solo 4 and 5 for the same phone. They're no different. No difference. And they even had NFC on the Solo 4 on Metro, and they took it off on the 5, I think. So, I mean, LG needs to do away with the Solo series unless they really, really beef up the specs next, next time. Yeah, man, make it something special, man. Make it something. I don't know. They just yeah, give like a give it like a six sixty processor. Give it three or four. Gig, give it four gigabytes of RAM. You know, give it sixty four gigabytes of storage instead of thirty two. Um, you know, give it you know better cameras, and you know, give it give it you know just something better than what they gave for the past two years. They just really didn't do anything different. Yeah. Um. Let's see. What else do I? Some price changes, I guess. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on a second here. Tommy Jenkins, did you see that NetBuddy is no longer taking new customers? I did not see that. I noticed that they are not selling routers or hotspots on their on their site anymore, and that you can go on and that you can activate using like an H two O card or a cricket or, or other um, AT and T SIM cards. But I mm. didn't know they were taking no new customers. I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm kind of done with NetBuddy myself, so. Yeah, they cut me off, and I never paid because AT and T is ridiculous down here. Because AT and T, admittedly, told me over the phone that they removed towers in my area, and they're removing towers in a lot of areas. And that was from the custom. That, that was from customer service themselves. Told oh. me that. No, I was paying it. I was. I was. I paid it like once or twice or whatever, and I went to pay it again. It wouldn't accept it. So, hmm. I, I don't know. I guess NetBuddy might have folded or something or went under. I don't know what they're doing, but. But yeah, I mean, um, Anthony Short, yeah, the Stylos are, I mean, the Stylo 5 was a good looking phone. If they would have just done more with the internals, uh, the Stylo 5 could have been a killer phone. They'd have gave it like a 632 processor or 636, or the same processor as the Moto, the Moto G7 has. They'd have gave it an extra gigabyte of RAM, some more storage. Man, it would have been well worth the money. Well worth the, but it was a really good looking phone. Hmm. So just to reiterate, of course, I'm live with CV Tech for those of y'all that are just joining in. So please uh, throw, throw your or write something down there, CV Tech, just so people can uh, subscribe to What's you. What's up? What's up, King of Tech Deals? What's going on, man? Oh, blah blah blah. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, if you ain't if you ain't, if you ain't subscribed yet. Just click my little bubble there beside my name, CV Tech, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Got a bunch of videos coming. I'm gonna invite you in, man. I don't know. I don't know what you've been doing. I'm gonna try to get you on here. I'm back. So I'm gonna send it to your email. I'm back, baby. I'm back. 
I thought it'd be harder than this, man. Thank you guys. I thought I'd have to make a whole video. I've been gone. I'm so sorry, guys. We got 55 watching right now. That's what's up. I know, right? We had what 60? We had what 60 earlier? Yeah. Hey, I sent I sent it to your uh, Gmail. I I hope you still have the same Gmail. Hmm. So yeah, man. Um. What's it called? Um. So yeah, man. This just this just kind of just kind of ridiculous. Just just going over so it or whatever. Go ahead. So I have a question before we go any further. If you're on this channel and have and was not subscribed to me and you aren't and you subscribe to me in this live stream, let me know. Uh oh, here's King. Oh, King of Tech Deals is here. Oh shit. Ha. Uh, oh God. <laughs> I don't Man, think I missed that. I have a bone to pick with you. Where have oh. you been? You became a ghost. I did, bro. Hey, you say you 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 say you go away or whatever. I did my yeah. own going away. I feel you, bro. But we was worried about you, bro. You could have called me. Yeah. Oh yeah. What number? What number, bro? You got my number. I don't, I don't have your number, bro. Oh, you don't? I'm definitely getting it after the stream, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we, we all thought something happened to, to to John there for a long time. I mean, because it it's like he just fell off the face of the planet, man. I mean, we was like, has anybody heard from John lately? We hey, well, you know what? Like, Everybody wanted the reunion, so I'm back. We should be charging y'all for this. This should be on pay-per-view. <laughs> I'm just saying, okay? Right? This has been a long time. Bro, so... Have you yes, been the, individual, about? the individual, yes, I am Best MVNO's newest writer. They are expanding. Hopefully, we'll get nice. more writers down the road. But yeah, I uh, am part of that team now. Uh, just trying to get a little bit of rust off. The editor in chief of Best MVNO is a great teacher. The guy is an amazing writer. I've always appreciated his work, but when I see how he uh, dissects my work and tells me, hey, add this, add that. It's like, man, I didn't think of that. Man, I didn't think of that. The guy's a genius. Mm. So what, what's, your, what's your opinion, man, on this whole cricket thing that, uh, that I've been – so let, let me set the scene for you. you. When's the last time you worked for cricket? Has it been a while? Uh, about almost two years, man. Almost two years. Okay. So you were there when they were charging the $3 fee, right? $3? Yeah. Okay, so – January thirty first. It's uh, uh, hey man, hey this is this is a story for you too, man. I, sh I should be charging you. Um, anyway, January thirty first, they're gonna be charging four dollars now instead of the three dollars. All right, not that big of a deal, but uh, when you do a multi line reactivation, instead of ten bucks like usual, it's gonna be fifteen dollars now. So and, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna hold, tell people how to avoid that. Okay, what, what, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, right, one, right. one more thing. And if uh, if your phone gets cut off, let's say right now at midnight, you used to have a 24 hour grace period. No longer. No grace periods. As soon as your phone gets cut off, fifteen dollars if you have more than one line. Dang, it used to be only five. It was five like whole account. It wasn't it. Right. Right. So it used to be five. Then they. So now a single line is five. That's not changing. Then it used to be ten. Now it's 15 and no grace period whatsoever. That's my whole beef. Mm. So go ahead, elaborate. What, what do you think? What's your take? I mean, there's always a way around that. You know, people need to look up Bluebird at Walmart and, you know, load their bill payment to that card and just pay their card online and that's it. Done. No more problems. Reload it for free at Walmart. I mean, I know that like, like we was mentioning earlier, I know that everybody can't, you know, do auto pay. Everybody can't, you know, a lot of times can't afford to have auto pay. But like you say, Bluebird is a really good card. I have one myself. And, you know, you go to Walmart, if you use a Walmart's ATM, there's no fees. Reload at Walmart, there's no there's no fees. Um, there's, no, there's, no, there's no monthly fees unless you go over 90 days without using the card. So it's really one of the best cards I've ever used for prepaid. No, server. not only that. You remember CB? We used to always debate the serve card back and forth with the Bluebird. Serve card yeah. sucks now. It sucks now. It really? used to be as good 
The only advantage to the blue card it still has is you can reload it anywhere for free. But other than that, that's the only advantage. Oh, okay. But yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, I've not had an issue. I've had Bluebird now for a long time and it's been, it's been great. No problem. This is a weird one, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh. Look at that. Oh. We need Change a uh, profile. Yeah. Pi- we need a profile picture for Mill Hustles, right? Yeah, he looks weird like that. Nah, uh-huh. this is what I look like. That's my picture. If you see me in person, that's what I am—a little gray circle with a face. That's me. <laughs> oh boy, boy, boy! Yeah, man, I've been. Yeah, I've been gone. I've been gone. I just. So I'm still, I still work for Track Phone, bro. I've been there now a year and a half. Um, really? Yeah, it's gotten like three times better than it has. You know, I'm traveling for them now, so money's a lot better. I actually won a contest. I was the number one total wireless salesperson in my region, so they're giving me a two hundred dollar bonus for that, which is always cool. And I didn't even know that. Like, I know they had a contest, but I always push total wireless because I like it. But yeah, but I tell you what, man. Y'all know me. I, I, yeah, someone could be paying me, and I'm still gonna knock them if I if they deserve to be knocked. The transition away from 3G has been a complete nightmare. Really dealing with uh, track phone ink. Like it's almost impossible to get a bring your own device kit kit activated with the Verizon network. Like, you'll have a phone that the website says is not compatible, but in front of you, it's compatible. And things of that nature. It's just been a nightmare. I was about to say, guys, leave, leave a like. Come on in. We got 63 people watching right now. Bro, we're going strong on a damn Tuesday night. Oh, man. Has- Don, you know what? I need to send you my visible rant. I don't know if you ever saw it, but that video almost went viral. Um, it is still available. I just put it uh, private or not private unlisted because um, my job asked me to tone down the language and things like that. Like I had my company watching me. I got in trouble for leaking some news, actually. Mm. So oh, I had to, you know, oh. And they paid me very well. So I said, all right, that's cool. No problem. They They got me, bro. They got me. <laughs> but I still think visible is garbage. I think visible should be spelled V I S I capital B capital U double L. Damn, visible shit, huh? And I know so- Jose Santana is going to uh, disagree with me. Jose Santana, when a company's that garbage, of course they're going to give you money to stay. So I'm just wh- saying. What's the, what's the hottest thing smoking right now at, uh, at uh, Walmart? Um, well, Hotspot is supposed to, Hotspot's supposed to debut on Total Wireless soon. The graphics got leaked and they deleted them, but you know, I caught them. Mm. Uh, the $55 plan now offers 10 gigs of Hotspot. There's a new deal going on where if you buy two phones that are over 50 bucks, a $60 uh, plan for two lines, you get a hundred dollar Walmart e-gift card. Okay. 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 How's Black Friday? Crazy. Yeah. I sold 130 phones. Damn. Well, what was the, what was the best, what was the best uh, Black Friday deal? I didn't even go out, uh, bro. The iPhone 6S and 6S Plus were 99 and 150 respectively, and they actually brought that price back. So if anybody missed that, go get it, and your Walmart should have a bunch in stock. They had the Galaxy A10e for 50 bucks. I got one of those, and I sold it. I got... Uh, the Stylo Five for a hundred bucks. Uh, I think that was it. Did I miss anything, CB? Oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. I was talking about the straight talk deals on Black Friday. Oh yeah, I think I the only one I, the only one that I, the only that I seen was the uh, the A ten E, the six S, and six S plus. Now here's the thing, I don't understand why. Uh, Total Wireless did it is not matching Straight Talk's deals anymore because they always did. But the pricing is just not the same anymore. It's I don't know what the heck is going on. You can still buy the Straight Talk device and rebrand it to Total Wireless, but I won't be surprised if they block that soon. Like, nope, 
If it's straight talk, it has to be a straight talk device. If you don't have it, boo-hoo, buy something else and go to another store. Cool Pad Legacy, yay or nay? What is her name? Yay, yay, yay. Yeah. The Legacy is a pretty good phone. So there was a lady that actually was porting from Metro to Straight Talk, and she got a Moto G7 Optimo Max, a.k.a. Supra, a.k.a. G7 Plus, because her coverage didn't work. And I tried to buy the phone off her, but she wouldn't sell it to me, bitch. But she was nice, though. I, I sneezed, also, by the way. I didn't say a bad word. I just sneezed. Uh, also, also, I, I put my channel link in the description, and also in the comments as well. I, I finally found my channel link. Yeah, the two phones party. Don't forget to, uh, to uh, sub to your boy two phones for free. That weird. Oh yeah, you got a weird name though. Crazy name. Got to change that man. Hey, this your so, boy two phones for free. <laughs> I almost uh, man, got my impression of him down packed. What's my next video plan? Um, I got a uh, tablet. I got a I got a kid's tablet that I'm gonna review for the kiddos. I'm trying to do the all the kid stuff for the holidays. It's really hot right now, and plus, when the parents get it, and then they tr they got to figure out what they're gonna do with these tablets and stuff. So and the phones. So. Mm -hmm. Pretty much that. Uh, you been uploading King of Tech deals? A little bit. Um, but now that I'm writing, uh, that's probably not going to happen as often because I got a full-time job. Um, writing. Might have another part-time job soon if I decide to go for it. And then I got a child on the way. So. Oh. Uh-oh. When did this happen? A while back, bro. <laughs> Oh. So who's the lucky guy? The lucky guy. <laughs> you. Oh, oh man, it's a magic tech baby. <laughs> Damn. I thought I thought I thought I thought we wore protection that oh, day. The name is gonna be Huh. Huh. Hey, Ken Dim, thank you for that donation, man. I really appreciate it. And it's a dollar ninety nine donation, not five dollars. That's funny how he wrote. He, oh, he wrote, trolled you, bro. He trolled yeah, you, bro. I know. I was about. To, I was about to say it too. Thank you for the five dollar donation. Yeah. So, super chats wide open. Just saying. Um. Other than that, yeah. I tell you. What's up? I, I'm really. You know, it's been so long. I'm. I'm really. You know, kind of uh, glad to be back on live stream again because, you know, I've only done like one live stream like three months. You know, on my own yeah. channel. Yeah, man, I'm trying. I'm trying to get back, and as I, as I can see, it's pretty much, you know. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, no hustles. What's up? Um, uh, that uh, I'm not sure if I asked you or not, but that uh, that best envy I know. Did they hit you up? Did they hit you up or something? Well, I've known them for a while. Um, I started just following them on Twitter, and anytime I got a cool tech deal, I just tagged them. And they hit me up and, you know, we've had a relationship for, you know, probably going down a year. And, you know, from there, you know, everything just went. I can't really share de all the details yet, but I'll share, I'll share them soon. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Shoot. Oh, I got a cool, I got a cool, uh, this cool bracelet, man. Look at it. It's got no, it's not, not only that, um, I actually contributed to an article on phonearena.com also. Mm. Oh, I think, I, think yeah. I remember that. Yeah, and their uh, editor in chief, uh, what the hell is his name? Um, hold on. It's uh, Rado. Rado or Rado. I message him here and there, you know, on Skype. Cool guy. And you know, we we'll never know what happens uh, next, I'm, man. I'm gonna answer. I'm gonna answer a couple questions here. Uh, D'Angelo, I actually got rid of the Galaxy A20. It's just it wasn't really for me, and it was kind of it was kind of a lot of money. Uh, Matt, to review, Total Wireless does not offer an unlimited data plan. Um, they do not. That's right. No. So Straight Talk does. Um, Fifty-five for one line, two lines for ninety. But uh, um, Total Wireless is 
uh, one of the better carriers if you don't need unlimited data. Exactly. And then with that ten dollar five, that five, that ten dollar five gig add on, you know that's cool too. Um, another thing that I've been selling a lot, uh, CB, is the new monthly plans on TrackPhone. Oh you yeah. Know, there's even people leaving Total Wireless to TrackPhone that they just don't need five gigs of data or six gigs, depending where you buy it. They'll go mm-hmm. and get the thirty dollar plan that gives you three gigs. Unlimited talk and text on the Verizon network, which still isn't bad. No, it's not. No, it's not. And then the flip phone plan, you know, twenty bucks a month, gig of data, limited to unlimited talk and text. That's hard to compete with on the Verizon network too. Yeah, and you know, just about anywhere you go, I mean, has some service with Verizon. You know. Yep. Can them I mean, it's, a, it's an excellent oh, it's an good. excellent option also if like you need a business line like you're just gonna talk and text and email occasionally 20 bucks a month is great and there is cheaper plans out there yeah I know but you know track phone is a name brand and until I learn more about these other brands I'm gonna stick with them I couldn't live without unlimited dude I don't know I'm just that just it would just be so weird to be like oh uh, unlimited and then you know I just I don't know. So no, I see a no, question. The, to, like, what phone do you have now, uh, Magic? Oh me, bro. I'm simple. The Mo- Moto G7 Supra, the little iPhone SE that you sent me, and I'm still using the S7 that they sent me. Your your iPhone SE should have unlocked. Oh really? Yeah, try uh, your cricket chip. It should work because it unlocked that for six months. That was a Metro one. So check, make sure you check that out. Oh. Matter of fact, why don't you do it live, bro? Okay, let's try. Yeah. It, it, when you put your SIM card in there, it should, it should just start. It should just power right up and they cricket. Huh. Oh, okay. speaking of unlocked phones, um, the flagship wow. Samsung devices on... We gotta get a straight SIM talk. card toolkit. Flagship straight talk devices on say on uh, straight talk CV. You did a video about this when you had the S nine. They're unlocked. Yeah, oh, they are. They're fully unlocked. CDMA and GSM. What? I had a lady the other day buy an S nine on straight talk. We tried an AT and T chip. We tried a T Mobile chip, and all of them worked. Wow. Um. No, the Ultima Max does not have Android 10 and probably won't get Android 10. 129 at Straight Talk. That's not bad at all. I mean, or like the for the call center okay. people say, thank you for calling a Straight to Talk wireless. Can I have oh. the phone number you're calling about? Oh, God. Why? Why we got to why we gotta do the... <laughs> I, I, got, I got to plug in my hotspot because... Uh, Without that, I had no internet. Mm. Straight trash, damn. Who says straight trash? Jose Santana. Is that oh, like okay. your rival or something right now? Nah, nah. Jose and me are cool. Oh, okay. We just disagree on visible, but me and him are are mad cool. Oh, that's what's up. I almost, I almost had a a nemesis. Apparently, somebody got a little triggered. Made a video about me already, but they took Ooh. it down. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not even gonna mention it, man. When, when was this? Today. Oh wow. Yeah, man. That was quick. It was quick. It was quick. I, I'll mention it to you later. I, I don't right. want to put it. I don't want to put it out there in the. In the airwaves, there's no no need to no need for it. But trust me though, if I need if I need y'all to if I need y'all to uh, help me out, oh, I'll let y'all know. I promise. Dean Goley, oh, Carol twenty three. I've had all three phones. And also, I know that everybody is want me to get the Galaxy A fifty. You know, on my channel in my description, I'll gladly take donations to buy an A an A fifty. Oh. <laughs> How much is eight fifty? Three hundred dollars. Oh, okay. I can't afford three hundred dollars on a phone right now. I mean, I 
I, I got can, my but friend. I don't. I, I don't. I don't need the phone. That's the thing. If I don't yeah. really need it, I don't really want it because they're hard to sell. You know, I don't want to return phones. So, you know, if you you know if you buy one, don't need it. You know, you got to return it or try to sell it, and then you're gonna then you're gonna lose money because they won't you won't get out of it what you paid for it. So. Let's see here. What does it say? Carrier settings updated. New settings required for your device has been installed. What? Quit playing. Let's see here. No service. But it didn't. It didn't switch over. Or it didn't. Um, just give it a minute. Yeah, I know. You gotta give it a minute. Oh, 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 what? What? That thing says cricket, bro. No, there you go, bro. Uh, wow. There you go. You're wow. welcome. Oh, thank you, man. Come on, man. You already know. I bet I'll you would you would you put you would have just left that for a couple more years before you tried another sim, huh? No, I would have just left it on the Wi Fi thing like I usually get like I was. So you go, you try that phone out tomorrow, make a video. Yeah. Like 24 hours with a cricket iPhone. There you go. I'm giving you ideas again, bro. That's what's up. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, um, little unlock that seed. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not only that, actually, if you wanted to sell it, you can sell it for like really good money now because it's unlocked. And I think it's fully unlocked. CV, you can. It is. That. It is. See, there like you go, my bro. iPhone's to See, like, like my iPhone 6s is, is like new. Had it for almost a year, but it's, it looks brand new. If you put it in the box, you sealed it up, you would not because it was new or used. Um, just, just now it's fully unlocked. I could sell it for triple what they wanted. You know, I mean, it's just ridiculous. I'm not going to, but um, I want to, yeah. Uh, Art Dog, I'm actually right now streaming with John on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro. Um, and this is with low light. I have only one light way over yonder. Um, you're seeing how the quality looks in this low light on the uh, front camera of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro. This phone is this phone is awesome. This phone is just, if it had band 12, I would be set. It needs band 12. It don't have band 12. Um, this has bands 2 and 4 that I use for T-Mobile. Um, but yeah. Man, so I'm rocking an A50 awesome. right now, and it's a good phone. But you know, when you own an S8, S9, S10, it's like, you know, if you've never owned it, the A50 might be amazing to you, but it's still a really good phone. So you have the A50. I didn't know that, man. Yes, I do through Sprint. It is it is it now straight Sprint. now straight talks now straight talks three hundred dollars. Is it worth yeah. three hundred dollars? Yes, but if you're going to spend $300 at Straight Talk, you might as well go over to Samsung and buy the fully USA unlocked version for $350 or $300 or less if you trade something in. So, you know, I mean, if you're happy with Straight Talk, go for it, but I would do the unlocked one if I'm going to pay that much. I'm just saying. Hmm. Okay, man, that super chat's starting to look old. We need a new one, y'all. What's up? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> hey, look at that. King of Tech deals, man. He, he knows. He's a hustler. He's a straight hustler. So are you going to uh, CES? Probably not, bro. Mm. I'd love to go. I would love to go, man. Especially yeah. after after how like bland it was last year. But then the year before, it was like the last two years before, it was great, but... That kind of tells you what's going on in the tech industry. Speaking of CES, you know what's MIA? The new mobile G4. Whatever happened to that? Yeah, I, I was telling John in the last last night's live stream how they said that how new mobile said they couldn't get the new mobile G4 up to their standard or something like that, and they just abandoned the whole phone. But it's been a year. It's been nearly a year and nothing. From, from New Mobile. So I don't know what's going on with New Mobile. I haven't contacted them in a long time. They haven't contacted me in a long time. So I don't know what they're doing. If I was like a celebrity and I had, you know, 20, 30 million bucks or more, I would see how much they wanted for that company. I would buy them. I don't think they're worth that hey. much. 
No, but I'm saying just to have that, like that kind of money to buy them out, I would do that. Yeah, because I mean, I, I was a big fan of the new mobile G3. I never had a problem with, with any of my G3s. I, I, had, I had three. I bought one and got two of them for free. Um, but I, I bought the blue one when it was on, when it was on pre-order, and then they sent me the red one and then the black Onyx, uh, the G3 Plus. And I never really had any issue with any of them, to be honest with you. They all work really good um, for me. But um, I was really looking forward to the G4 coming out. But uh, when they said that they scrapped it because they could never get it right or something or another, I was like, man. So, and that could be a different. bunch of different factors. It could be the FCC didn't approve it. It could be a defect that caused it to – just a ton of reasons I can think of that why it didn't yeah. come through. It's awesome. probably, it probably some kind of defect that they caught at the end, and they they just didn't have the resources to really to change it. The other one was all right, man, but that that's what was it? What was it? The what was the bad thing about it? The the video camera, right? The the audio the video microphone. microphone. Yeah, the video the audio mic. video is awful. They didn't put a secondary mic in the phone or on the phone, and it sounded terrible when recording video. That's what it was. That's what it was. I was trying to think of well, what. Well, see, there's Mikey Tech Review. Boost Mobile will not be part of T-Mobile. Boost Mobile is being sold off to Dish Network. That's if Peter Adderton doesn't buy them, the original founder of Boost. Oh, He's so they might be their own carrier. Yeah, this merger is up in the air again. Did you know <laughs> that Sprint signed a three-year um Roaming agreement with uh, T-Mobile. I don't get I it. I think so. I think I heard that. Yeah, like even if the merger doesn't go through, they uh, Sprint will roam off of them data just for data until twenty twenty one. Wow. Or twenty two. I think it should, I, I should be kind of the other way around. There's a lot of places I've been where Sprint LTE works where Metro has nothing or T-Mobile, T-Mobile has nothing. Like I said, there's been there's been places I've drove 30, 40 miles and have constant Sprint LTE and 40 miles of no service on T-Mobile in the same area. So Verizon has my, service, Sprint has service, but no T-Mobile. When I was at um at uh in chattanooga tennessee last year for for another job i had chattanooga which is a big city i had the worst metro service everywhere i couldn't wait to get back to north carolina and switch to someone else see that see that's what i'm saying they're they're talking about all this 5g stuff and they can't even get their, L, their 4g lte right in a lot of places and they can't and they can't even ha- and, they, and they don't even have good service in areas that should have had good service a long time ago. That's my biggest problem with uh with T-Mobile itself is there's places in the middle of town where you just lose all service and you'll stay out of service for for miles in the middle of town, in the middle of the city. I'm like, what? And Verizon's full service, Sprint's full service, you know, and here here's T-Mobile, no service. I'm like, really? No, then and I mean they're Sprint- you know, like one of the stores that I cover, Sprint don't work in it at all. So I have to use the Wi-Fi calling and texting. Mm-hmm. But everywhere else, it's fine. Like at my house, I get um, almost five bars. Yes. Yeah, see, I'm actually yeah. See, see, T-Mobile shows me in a light coverage area. Sprint Boost Mobile shows me in a no coverage area. I can get two three bars of service with LTE with Sprint in a no coverage area. T-Mobile shows me in a coverage area, and I get no service at all. I might get one bar here and there if I don't touch the phone. If I touch and pick it up, it, no service again. Damn, this cat. Look at him, man. He's just this cat, man. He's like, <laughs> he just jumped up in my damn. All right, kitty cat. Go, oh, man. Oh, my God. Ah, you're attacking the kitty. Oh, all right. Have you tried other phones, Mill? Have you tried other phones, Mill? Says uh, Jose. I did, and it was still the same issue. I get a T-Mobile slash Metro at my house now. It's mm-hmm. it's 
it's the worst of the four, but it works okay. And yeah. then when I cover yeah. certain stores, it works too. But when I travel, because I take a lot of back roads, it's a little spotty. Yeah, I agree with Jose. So T-Mobile is the king of having one bar in their service. Exactly right. I mean, it's sad. Like I said, there's been multiple times I've drove 30, 40 miles, and I've had a Sprint line or a Boost Mobile line. I've had Verizon line with Total Wireless. I've had my Better SIM, which is actual T-Mobile. Now, Better SIM is not an MVNO for T-Mobile. It's actual T-Mobile service. Um, it's um, got T-Mobile SIM cards like T-Mobile gives out. And 30, 40 miles, and I mean, everything has coverage except for uh, T Mobile. There's just no, it's just, it's just constant no service. And I'm like, these are areas that should be covered with T Mobile coverage. Um, but I guess they're just so wrapped up in all their giveaways and their free stuff and their 5G that they don't, you know, they're just not doing nothing with their, with, with anything. I mean, 5G, dude, that's that's a joke, man. Unless you live in like a really populated city. And even then, I hear unless you're like in a specific vicinity of a of the 5G area, you're not going to get really much better speeds and full cover. Like, I can sit in my streaming spot on T-Mobile and get 130 megabits per second download and around 40 to 45 megabits upload in my stream on 4G LTE on band four. You know, and yeah. Look, we got a question. What's the oldest version of uh, Android you'll use? Shoot, I got a, I, I got a, I got a phone right now. It's got KitKat ZTE. That's the one that's that I'm using. I'm still using that old ZTE. Um, what is that thing called again? Damn, I forgot. The Max, the ZTE. Wait, the first one. The first one. Yo, I'm tripping. What phone was that? The square one that came out for Metro? The Max XL or something? No, the, uh, the original. The, 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 uh, Grand Max 1 or something? Mm -mm. The Z Bro, I'm tripping. Hold on. Let me show it to everybody. And then y'all can, can tell me what it is. Yo, I'm tripping out right now. Hold on. ZTE... I have to have my ZTE Blade. This one right here, on the old, the old one, the first one. Wow, Shit, I'm still using. Old. I'm still. This is my hotspot right now. This thing's been plugged up for years, man. I forgot what this is running. KitKat right here. You don't have NetBuddy no more. Yeah. Talking to me, uh, John. I know you don't have it no more, bro. Yeah. Do you yeah, have? Yeah, do you I'm still a... have NetBuddy, John? What is that one? You still have NetBuddy? No, nah, no NetBuddy. Oh, we got a ten dollar donation. Tech Insanity with that insane donation of ten dollars. Thank you so much, my friend, for donating. And everybody, check out his channel if you have not. Tech Insanity. What do? You, what does Tech Insanity do? I got a. I, I got a phone right now somewhere around here. It's still running Android version 2.1. Get out of here, man. It's crazy. It's awful. Oh my goodness, it's awful. I still got my um my uh, HTC Evo 4G from Sprint. That's I think running what 2.3. Gingerbread, I want to say. Tick insanity. I'm already subscribed to him. Damn. When's the last time you uploaded Tech Insanity? Oh, three months. T-Mobile test drive unboxing. Damn, bro. Slipping. I can't Man, say I much. I tell you that that T-Mobile hot that T-Mobile cool pad hot spot they gave out for free. That thing was the nearest nothing hot spot I'd ever used in my life, man. Yeah, that <laughs> oh was, my it goodness. Was not, it was not good for me. It was junk. I mean. I took that thing out to my streaming spot, and I could only get like 30 to 40 megabits download, and my phone was getting over 100. I'm like, what is going on with this with this thing? Oh, ZMAX. There we go. ZMAX. ZT ZMAX. That's what it is. Yeah, it's classic, man. That thing's still running, bro. Still running. 
Yeah, I still have the uh, the uh, the HTC Evo 4G from 2011. It's when I got 2011. It still works. Same battery. The power zone. It charges up. Does everything fine. Let's see here. Let's see when when did this thing come out? When did the ZTZ Max come out? Mm. Let's see. Looking real quick. Who's this? Is, who's this? Is the Z Max came out with marshmallow, not Kit Kat. Oh wow, the Shock Freedom Turbo or Turbo XL. Not in a long time, bro. Not in a long time. They don't even have the right picture up here for it. Oh, the champ. Uh, let's see. Here. I, uh, I remember when I got my the ZTE Blade Z Max from uh, from Metro. It's unlocked, of course, by now, but uh, that that was a really good phone. That was a solid phone. Design. I'm trying to look. Damn. It's a nice article, though. Yeah. yeah it runs on KitKat 4.4.2. I don't know. It was a long time ago. How about that? Uh, okay, 2015 or 2016. So yeah, something like that. I remember I, I had mm -hmm. to put the phone away. When I was working at Metro, I got that phone and I had to put it away because it was selling so hot that anybody that came in the store, as soon as I pulled out the phone, they wanted the phone. And if we didn't have the phone, we, we would lose the sale, you know? They'd be like, oh, I want that phone. Oh. Lindsay Edwards says, what's your favorite phone manufacturer? You know, mine's, I, I'm, I'm, I'm big on Pixel. You know, I got, I like Pixel. Pixel. Um, but it, Motorola, man. I've been, I've been rocking with Motorola a lot nowadays. Pixel, I like Xiaomi. I love Xiaomi. I, was, I wish they had better bands, LTE bands in the U.S. Some of their phones has the majority of U.S. LTE bands, but not all of them. Uncle Drew says, I hate Android. Hey, Android hates you. <laughs> I still run Nougat. Nougat. ZMAX Pro. Let's see here. Any other questions from anybody right now? Go ahead and ask us a question since you got three of us up here. Might as well. But I'm a, I'm probably gonna cut this off pretty soon, probably about ten minutes. So, you got any burning questions you want to ask? Three uh, tech dudes up here. Mm -hmm. What else is going on at Cricket besides the plan increase? Uh, plan increase. Then we uh, the free Stylo Five. Uh, the free um, the free Supra. Then we and then like some price drops, but nothing really like. Hold on, let me talk about the price drops real quick. I guess it's nothing special though. Nothing that I'm getting excited about. Um, the icon, the cricket icon, went from twenty dollars to ten dollars for new or new line or upgrade. Alcatel Tetra went from twenty to ten. Architel Insight went from 30 to 10. LG Forge 2. Can't even believe we're talking about that phone still. 40 to 20. And the Moto E5 Cruise is from 40 to 20. Yeah, I want to answer a few questions here. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, Jose Santana, I do not have the Note 10 Plus. But if I did have the Note 10 Plus, it would be the Star Wars edition. That would be the only Note 10 Plus I'd have would be the Star Wars edition. I think it's just, oh, I love it. I take a Senate S. I need your help. Pixel 4 XL or ZTX on 10? I, 
I would have to say Pixel 4 XL. I'm not, I'm not, I've never used a ZT Axon 10. I'd love to try the Axon 10 because I've never tried it. I can't say for sure. Um, what tower does track phone use? Well, if you buy the phones from Walmart, most of them, or all of them are on Verizon. If you get a bring your own device, you can use what all four carriers still. Is that is that still how it is? is that still how it how it is? No, it's still... The what? If you if you have a bring your own device kit from Track Phone, can't you use all four carriers or choose yeah. all four carriers? Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you have um, so if you have uh, if you buy a Track Phone sim sim kit, you can choose between all four carriers. If you go to like if you go to like Walmart, Target, Best Buy, and buy a track phone, they're gonna all be on Verizon, the Verizon towers. My wife broke her phone as usual. I don't even know what phone she got now. That the Axie or something or the she she only gets forty dollar phones now from uh, Best Buy or Target now. She breaks them that fast, like literally, it'll be like a week, and it'll be the phone, the screen will be cracked. So, you know, I would, I would like to use a one plus seven to see if it's as good as everybody says it. Because I mean, I know everybody says the one plus seven is a great phone. I would, I wouldn't mind trying out for myself to see how good the phone actually is. Me, me too. Because I mean, the one plus seven is a good looking phone. Um, I don't like the curved screen. I hate phones with curved screens because. So many accidental taps and touches. Hey, what's up? What's up? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, I was gonna say I, I know that a lot of people, a lot of people complained about the curved screen because there's a lot of accidental touches and stuff like that. I prefer to say flat screen. It wasn't curved off. You're better off with the 7T. Yeah, I heard the 7T has more of a flat screen than the 7 Pro. King of saying? tech deals. King of tech deals. Do you remember this thing? I guess this is something new. The ID check, two device max, and new band requirement will be removed from these devices. I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that. Band? What's a band requirement? Is that like a like? Where are you getting that from? You know where I'm getting it from, but don't say it. Uh, it's cricket. Ah, uh, okay. But the BAN, it's got like it's B A N in capital letters, so it stands for something. I just don't remember what ban. I don't remember using that term when I was at Cricket. Uh Okay. Body area network? No. No. Mm -mm. Uh, huh. I'm trying to, I think. Oh my golly! Wow, are you in here still? Billing account number. Hmm. Billing account number. That's B A N. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, account number. Yeah. Billing account number. Think so? Oh, that's what Reddit says. And if it's on Reddit, it's got to be true, right? <laughs> right. Well, it's, it's, also, it's also in the comments as well. Oh, billing account number. Okay. So, so what is what is this? Uh, oh my golly, wow! What is this thing uh, talking about? Where it says, I guess. Well, the iPhone 7 price change or whatever, but it's talking about some, something about a new band requirement. What What's the new band requirement? I guess a new phone number. Oh, like you can't like can't upgrade or something. Or oh, maybe maybe like you can't port in and port out or something like that. Trying to figure out. Hey, Mill Hustles, I, I've had Visible for about two weeks now, and um, I've been using the ZTE, you know, the, the, the one I got for free for the trade in. And so far, I've not had any issues with Visible, uh, but I've not had to call customer or had to contact customer service, nothing like that. 
Um, but the service has been great um, since I've been using it. Uh, what kind of problems did you have with, with Visitor? Um, nonstop robocalls. Really? I've yeah. not had not one. I've not had one robocall since I've had mine. And also, um, um, you can't change your phone number. You have to like sign up for a brand new month of service mm -hmm. in order to get a new phone number. Mm. Um, yeah, so far I haven't had any robo calls or nothing like that on mine. On mine, no, I always had I always had coverage. Data speeds were horrible. Really? But then again, um, it, may have, it may have been my device. But how are, how how yeah. is it compared to Total Wireless where you live? Yeah, if if I ran Total Wireless speed test right now, and if I ran a, a visible, about the same. Do you get total the same, bar, be same a, amount of bars? Total, yeah. I get a, I get between two, three bars of service on both. Um, I would say that Total Wireless might get a little bit better download speed than Visible, but it's very, very minor. It's not even enough to really even matter. And it really it all depends on you know where you're sitting too, you know, and also depends on your phone. You know, I mean, if you got a higher end phone, you know, on one carrier and then this, i got the zte blade a7 prime which is the cheaper phone it may not it may not have as good a speed either so i'm not surprised that they're doing an id check uh for iphones probably to prevent fraud you know the revolving door is yeah. what i like to call it um mm -hmm. because people will abuse that like crazy uh, also, I mean, when, I, when, I, when I had my iPhone 7 Sorry. on Metro, you know, they said we need to see an ID to get this phone. And I'm like, okay, here you go. And I got it. Uh, 50 bucks. I, I want to ask a question to Jose and also you as well, because I want to see which one y'all can answer. If I took the SIM card out of my ZTE and put it in my Pixel 3 AXL, will it work? Probably not. I gotta, probably not. I'm going to try it anyway. <laughs> Like I remember, I'll I was try. trying to put my visible SIM card into my Moto G7, the pure mm -hmm. Moto G7 unlocked, and it wouldn't work. Mm. And so, I guess I had, uh, and I, I don't know if they had the device available there at the time. I think they did, but it just I couldn't transfer it. I mean, I'm not going to continue service with Visible uh, after this month because I'm already, you know, I got total wireless. And I got three lines with it, and I can't get rid of Total Wireless. And I also got the better SIM, which I'm paying right well, well, might as well, might as well say forty, might as well say forty a month for that. And I need a GSM carrier, you know. For how much? How GSM much data phones. do you get with your three line plan on Total? I don't know the number off top. Fifteen. Right? You ever thought about adding a fourth line and just getting rid of like better SIM? Uh, -uh. no, because on better SIM. Um, I need a GSM line. I need something that's GSM for all these GSM phones that I have that I use and buy and test. Um, I need them. I need this T-Mobile line for that. So that's why I don't want to get rid of it. Gotcha, guys. That's, that's, a, that's a darn good deal. Twenty-five gigs per line. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go to sleep because I gotta. Go, I have school in the morning. I go to school now. Uh, so uh, we'll continue. <laughs> I'll talk to you, or I'll tell you what it is here in a second, Mill. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and cut the live stream off. Uh, CV Tech, where can they find you at? Uh, they can just, uh, well, there's my link right there. If you want to subscribe to my channel, there's my link. Um, you can find me there. Subscribe, hit the bell notifications. I appreciate it. And thank you all for joining in. And y'all have a good one. And King of Tech Deals. Uh, Where can they find you at? At King of Tech Deals on Twitter. All right. Is that Simple it? That. Subscribe to the channel. All right. I don't ever upload, but I might upload here and there. All right. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you for all the donations and everything. You guys have been a great audience tonight. Um, so I have to do this sometime soon again. Maybe tomorrow. Who knows? All right. Peace out, guys. And oh my golly, wow. Wow. if you get any more information, send it to me.